Hey guys, welcome back to SF Angler, and today I'm going to teach you guys a great live bait halibut rig on a budget. You can use this rig from the shore, pier, or a boat. I use this rig to catch halibut and striped bass in the San Francisco Bay. If you want to see some lures to catch halibut, click the video in the description or up there, up there somewhere. There's a little eye and a white circle. Click on that. It'll be one of the videos in there. So let's get right into the rigging. This is all you're going to need to make a great live bait rig and save money while you're at it. First, you're going to want some pretty heavy duty leader. For this, I like to use 20 to 30 pound monofilament. I like to use monofilament instead of fluorocarbon just to save a few dollars. You're also going to need some much lighter line and you'll see what we use that for later. And yes, that's four pound test fluoroclear. You're also going to need a three-way swivel. You can find these at pretty much any tackle shop. Of course, you're going to need a hook. I like to use one to three aught octopus or circle hooks because I like to use live anchovies, but depending on where you are or what you're using, just use your favorite hook. Finally, you're going to need a weight. Because I'm fishing in soft mud, I like to use pyramid weights so they stick in, but you can use whatever you feel comfortable with. Now, a way to save a lot of money with your weight is by buying from local tackle shops. Buying lead online from tackle warehouse or bass pro shops is super expensive because lead is heavy and has restrictions in certain states. So head over to a tackle shop in your city. If you live in the Bay Area, check out Gus's Discount Tackle on Balboa or Fisherman's Warehouse. I have a video on Fisherman's Warehouse if you want to check that out. It's also up here, here, and it's probably also in the description. The first thing we're going to do is tie our leader. All I'm going to do is cut off about a foot to two feet of my leader here. Don't be like my parents and give your kid a knife. Give yourself a little extra line so you can tie your knots. Now that we have our leader, we can tie on our hook. Now that we've got our hook tied on, we can cut our tag in and move on. Now, let's tie the other end of our leader to our three-way swivel. Now that we've got our leader tied, we can tie a breakaway line. And I'll get to what that is in just a second. Now, a breakaway line is what we use to connect our weight to our swivel. And you call it a breakaway for an important reason. And this is one of the main ways we can save a lot of money on this rig. Now, a lot of times when you get snagged, it's your weight, not your hook. Now, instead of pulling on your rig and breaking your main line, what you can do is tie a breakaway line, which is, you can see, I'm only using four pound test to line that's a lot, lot weaker than your main line or your leader line. And that way, if your weight gets stuck, you only use your weight and you save money because you only have to replace your weight. You get to keep and salvage the rest of your rig. So let's tie it. Now, let's tie it to our swivel. And just like that, we have a finished live bait halibut rig. We have our three-way swivel, and off one end, we have our heavier leader line to our hook. On the other end, we have our super light breakaway line to our weight. Now, in this video, we showed you guys how to make a great live bait rig that you can use from the beach, pier, or boat. And we saved a lot of money while making this rig. First of all, we got our lead for cheap. We used a breakaway line so we don't lose our entire rig if we get snagged. And if you guys want to see how to save even more money by getting basically free bait, click the other link in the description or the other video in the, the white, the, the eye cards. Not sure. Eh, I think it's on this side. Yeah, I think it's on this side. Well, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, click the like button. If you really liked the video, click the subscribe button. And if you didn't like the video, don't watch any of my other videos.